Hey, Jordy from Fox here, and we're gonna do a quick run through of our new damper range. So this is the original, the grip damper. Uh, we actually won World Cups on this damper as a rad prototype, and this is kind of the launching point for all the technology that we've worked up to. Um, so that's your first one. Next one, that morphed into the Grip 2, which is four-way adjustable, high-speed, low-speed rebound, high-speed, low-speed compression, but basically the same architecture of a spring-backed IFP, a semi-recirculating damper, and we also won a few World Cups on this, as well as EDRs. So this little guy is the new Grip SL, and you can see it's quite a bit different than the original grip. This damper has been optimized for short travel bikes or XC racing uh, in your 100 to 120 mil 32, 34 step cast and the TC fork as well. Um, primarily, we started with performance. So nothing was done just out of weight or ride characteristic. We wanted it to be the best damper possible. And then we looked at what we wanted it to fit. So this is optimized for the short travel bikes. Obviously it is an incredibly small lightweight damper, but the ride characteristics mimic a much larger fork or more gravity oriented fork. We spent a lot of time making sure that internal pressures are very well thought out and the ride feel is something that I don't think most people are used to in an XC fork. So next in the line, we've got the new Grip X, which really looks quite similar, just in a much larger package. You're gonna find this stamper in the 120 to 150 range, even up to the 160 and the 36 and the 34 LT. It has the same spring-backed IFP, the same recirculating features, but it does have slightly larger piston in the rebound and the base valve a bit more adjustable. You have your high speed that also includes a bit of a platform when you close it all the way. Then you have your low speed compression and your low speed rebound adjust. So slightly more tunable, slightly more gravity focused, still weight conscious, but uh, an all around great performing damper. And this is the big dog, the Grip X2. This is found in 38s, 40s. Uh, this is definitely a gravity-oriented damper. Uh, we will be racing this in World Cup and EDR. Uh, you can see that everything's grown just a little bit more. You have a much larger pressure tube, larger mid-valve, and larger pistons here. So you're carrying a little bit more weight, but you're getting quite a bit more support and more tunable damping. You have high speed rebound, low speed rebound, high speed compression, low speed compression, ultimate tunability and downhill performance. So these are the three new dampers and while they look quite a bit different in size, functionally they're very similar. We've taken the same approach to each one while optimizing it for its given task. Uh, you got your little SL, your Grip X for your trail bikes, and then the big Grip X2. And throughout this damper range, we've focused on drastically reducing internal pressures and optimizing what room we have so that we're able to really tell a better story through the damping and connect riders to that trail without muting trail feel and without making things harsh, people are gonna really appreciate a real quality damper. And over long term, you're gonna find that there's far less fatigue and far more enjoyment out of your product. So that's it. That's the three new dampers in our, our new lineup. Uh, they pair really well with our float family of shocks as well. And uh, honestly, I'm incredibly excited to get people out on these dampers. Um, I'm really stoked on the work that we've done and I think people are gonna be happy with all of this.